our child, Nick. In a period of hours, he went from a healthy, vibrant young man to being brain dead. Once you get meningitis, you really can't fix it. It's too late. You might live, you might die. Who knows? I didn't know what it was, <laughs> and it destroyed me physically and mentally, emotionally, in every aspect possible. We had no clue. I didn't know anything about meningitis. Um, I knew nothing. As I understand it, it is a disease that can attack the, the brain, the spinal cord, or different body parts. And it's been proven that when you live in close proximity, the potential of uh, contracting meningitis is a lot greater. We got to A&M, he was a junior, and it was unbelievable how many people responded to that kid and how many people absolutely loved him. Nicholas was a loving person, very kind, and he had a contagious smile. You don't realize how important siblings are until they're not there anymore. I received a phone call at work, and they told me that Nicholas was in the hospital. It was only eight minutes after he was uh, admitted that he went unconscious. All we could do was hold his hand, kiss him, pray for him, and hope that he would come out. The doctors gave us hope. We're not going to count him out, so let's just pray. And that's what we did. But Nicholas never came out of it. We wanted to give it time, uh, give God time to work a miracle, because that's what it was going to be. And uh, we gave it a few days, but unfortunately, that miracle never came. Being at UT, I had parties I wanted to go to Thursday night, Friday night, and Saturday night. But I got sick on a Wednesday night. My body did emergency shut down. One day you're fine, and the next day you're dealing with serious, serious decisions. My limbs were turning to black because my body cut down circulation because it was protecting its organs and just being in immense amount of pain. I dealt with my limbs being amputated. I came out and I put my life on hold and I stopped and I had to learn how to live again. If I had gotten vaccinated, I would not be dealing with my nightmare. Nobody thinks that, you know, anything terrible is gonna to happen to me or my family. But when it does strike, it is so devastating. Not getting vaccinated, in, in my brother's case, meant death. It seems like another routine, another errand that you have to do. But if you don't get the vaccine for meningitis, you are literally putting yourself at risk to die. It's a shot, and that's it. They gave me a shot in my arm, and it lasted for two seconds, and I was done. Prevent what's preventable. Get vaccinated. Get vaccinated. Please get vaccinated.